early postmortem changes. Describe and discuss postmortem changes including signs of death, cooling of body, postmortem lividity, rigor mortis, cadaveric spasm, cold stiffening, and heat stiffening. Permanent cessation of integrated functions of an individual are associated with irreversible loss of brain functions, circulatory and respiratory functions. Signs of death are divided into three types. Immediate signs of death, also called as somatic death, which starts from 0 to 30 minutes. Early signs of death, which can also be called as molecular death, which ranges between 1 hour to 36 hours after death. Late signs or molecular death, which happens after 36 hours. Immediate changes are loss of voluntary movement and sensation, cessation of circulation, cessation of respiration, and other signs. Early postmortem changes are changes in the skin and facial pallor, changes in the eye, algor mortis or postmortem cooling, liver mortis or postmortem staining, and rigor mortis. Late postmortem changes are putrefaction, adipocere formation, mummification, and skeletonization. Immediate signs of death. The earliest signs of death is the loss of voluntary movement and insensibility. Secondly, respiration may stop for a short time for many reasons, but a complete check should be done by placing a stethoscope on the chest near the lungs and the larynx continuously for five minutes. If the sounds of the respiration and heartbeats are not found continuously for more than five minutes, then it is accepted as evidence of death. Other changes which happen within the first half of an hour are the skin turning pale and losing elasticity. This happens within a few minutes after death. The eyes look sunken as the eyeballs become flaccid. Muscles of the face relax and looks peaceful. Pupils slightly dilate and become fixed and do not respond to light variation. Early postmortem changes. These changes can be simply elaborated under five headings. That is, changes in the skin and facial pallor, changes in the eye, algor mortis, liver mortis, and rigor mortis. Changes in the skin and facial pallor. In this phase, skin loses its translucency. It becomes pale and ashy white in appearance. Skin loses its elasticity. Cutis and serena. Skin which is exposed to cool air immediately after death will produce goose skin appearance due to contraction of erector pile muscles. Change in eye. Intraocular tension falls. Eyeballs become flaccid. The cornea loses its glistening appearance, becomes dull, hazy, and opaque. Sclera. When eye remains open for a longer duration after death, sclera and conjunctiva become dry and desiccated with deposit of dust, which appears as blackish brown discoloration. Within two to three hours, the exposed white part of eyeball becomes yellowish and within 8 to 10 hours it becomes blackish brown or sometimes reddish brown. These patches of discoloration are called as tachinoir. Here you can see that the pupil is dilated and fixed immediately after death. But after the onset of rigor mortis you can see that pupil is constricted. Further in the period the pupil is distorted due to onset of secondary relaxation and there is loss of tone in iris muscles and it again becomes relaxed. Algor mortis. Algor means cooling and mortis means death. Cooling of the body occurs as temperature of the body decreases after death. 
internal organs cool by conduction external body cools by convection and radiation the cooling occurs in three stages in a sigmoid or inverted s shaped curve stage 1 for the first 1 to 2 hours there is no loss of heat as the internal body mass undergoes chemical reactions because of various enzymes which produce the heat stage 2 after the enzymatic activity stops the temperature of the body begins to reduce and come closer to the environmental temperature this is from 2 to 30 hours after death stage 3 bacterial action begins to increase because of which there is an increase in the body temperature slightly after 30 hours livor mortis livor means bluish mortis means death livor mortis is bluish or purplish red discoloration resulting from gravitational settling of blood in the toneless capillaries and venules of the dependent parts of the dead body This occurs within 4 hours after death and reaches its maximum at 6 to 12 hours after death. Rigor mortis. Rigor means stiffness. Mortis means death. According to the rule of 12, it is generally considered that by the first 12 hours after death, rigor that is stiffening of the muscles affect the whole body. And this stiffening is retained for another 12 hours. And it passes off in the next 12 hours with the onset of putrefaction this process is called as rigor mortis all the muscles of the body both voluntary and involuntary are affected nystens rule states that it does not start simultaneously in all the muscles it first appears in the involuntary muscles the myocardium becomes rigid in an hour it becomes noticeable in the eyelids then the muscles of the face jaw and neck then it goes downwards to the upper limbs thorax abdomen and lower limbs and lastly the fingers and toes in the individual limbs it usually progresses from above downwards it disappears in the same order in which it had appeared cadaveric spasm Instantaneous form of rigor mortis may occur because of the spasm of the muscle in the midst of a sudden emotional physical activity but it affects only small group of muscles which enter into the rigor state before the death and continue to be in that position after death till the rigor passes away cold stiffening the muscle tissue becomes frozen and stiff when the body is suddenly exposed to freezing temperatures this is because the body fluids freeze and solidification of subcutaneous fat takes place thereby stimulating rigor and making the body extremely rigid if the joints are forcibly flexed ice breaks into the synovial fluid with a sudden snapping sound the stiffness disappears after decomposition heat stiffening when the body is exposed to temperatures above 65 degrees centigrade heat stiffening is produced which is more marked than rigor mortis as the muscle tissue proteins are denatured and coagulated as in cooking stiffening takes place the muscles are contracted desiccated or even carbonized the outer zone of the body appears pinkish brown like cooked meat the stiffening remains until the muscles and ligaments soften from decomposition